All right, so I also quickly want to mention the window object. Now, maybe you've seen this before, or maybe you haven't, but there is a there. This is the global object as it's called. So let's just see what we get if we do console log. So if I refresh here, you can see we actually get some kind of object here, and this is the the, the top level object you could say, the the outermost object that we get if you execute JavaScript in a browser. A lot of the things that we've been using, actually everything that we've been using from the browser comes from the window object. Right, so you can already see alert here, for example, it's a function. We've, we're gonna use that in one of the projects, but the reason we can use that is because it's a property on the window object, right? And if you look through here, you'll find the document as well. So um, we've been using document.querySelector, right? So really the document object is how we can interact with our HTML. That's because the window supplies that, right? So it gives us this, this document. And since it's part of the window object, this is the global object, you don't have to write every time. But the browser already knows, it's, al it's already gonna look. It's already gonna look on the window object, on the global object to find the document, right? So everything that's part of the window, you don't have to write window in front of it. It's already gonna look on the window object to find that, right? So everything that we've been using also uh, console, right? So window.console, um, if we log this, you'll see we get a console here, right? If I log window.document, right? This is where the document is coming from, right? So here we see all of our HTML, right? Window.alert, right? That's a function, some native code. We don't see that. And actually window.fetch, right? It's all part of the window object. So as long as you have the window object, you, you have everything you could say. Now, one other thing that's also useful sometimes is window.location and shows you information about the current location that we're on, like the URL and things like that. We can also use this to navigate to a different route. So this window is specific to this tab. So if I would open another tab, that would also get a window object that would be specific to that tab, right? So this is the window. I mean, in a way you can sort of see it as representing the tab that we are in. And this is just, yeah, it's a global object as it's called in programming. Um, you don't really use it that often because you don't have to write window in front of it, right? So if we use window.document.querySelector, this will work the same as just writing document.querySelector. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe